Who will win the new space race nations or corporations? A question that might seem far-fetched, yet it's a reality unfolding right in front of our eyes. The space race, once a duel between two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, has evolved into a complex competition between nations and corporations, all vying for a piece of the final frontier. The timeline of this new space race began in the early 2000s with a rivalry between two billionaires, Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos. Branson, the founder of Virgin Galactic, and Bezos, the man behind Blue Origin, competed to develop suborbital rockets for commercial space tourism. Their goal? Making space more accessible and inspiring future astronauts. Branson made history when he became the first billionaire to travel to space on a spacecraft he helped fund. While these corporations were making strides, nations were not far behind. In the 2020s, China, a country with a long association with rocket technology, joined the race. The Beijing-based space transportation aimed to transport passengers from Shanghai to New York in a hypersonic space plane. They projected the first suborbital space tourism test flight for 2025 with a full-scale global hypersonic vehicle flight by 2030. An ambitious goal, to say the least, but one that shows the determination of nations in this new space race. But the moon, humanity's closest celestial neighbor, has become the next big prize. Both NASA and China are planning to establish a permanent human presence on the moon's south pole in the 2030s. NASA's Artemis program, with more than 20 nations signed on, is set to launch its first test flight. While China, in partnership with Russia, plans a crude moon landing by 2030. The new space race is not just about reaching for the stars. It's about strategic competition, potential cooperation, and the promise of future missions to Mars. The cost, however, remains a significant hurdle. The price of NASA's Space Launch System rocket is considered unsustainable. Simultaneously, space tourism, while becoming more accessible, is still exclusive to the super-affluent. To summarize, the new space race has evolved from a duel between two superpowers to a multifaceted competition between nations and corporations. The timeline of this race has seen billionaires like Branson and Bezos making significant strides in space tourism. Meanwhile, nations like China and the United States are planning to establish a human presence on the moon. This race is no longer just about exploration. It's also about strategic competition and potential cooperation. The cost remains a significant hurdle, but the drive to conquer the final frontier continues. Who will win this new space race? Only time will tell.